A number of weeks ago I headed to Bleach London uh, to visit my friend Lauren Miles who gave me a peachy pink dip dye. She started off by um, giving me just a blonde dip dye which you can see now and then over the top of that created a bespoke peachy pink colour which lasted quite a number of washes and kind of in some light you can still see at the end here. Knowing my schedule and my finances I knew I couldn't kind of keep up with dyeing my hair in the normal sense of the word. So I've invested in these colour bugs by Kevin Murphy. Now they're not cheap, they're about £12.95 each, you can buy them online. Um, but it means you can change your colour every day, there's not that fear of it being permanent and you can kind of be a bit creative with it, with it as well. So I will show you how to do it, it's pretty easy, which is good for someone like me. So first of all, as you can see, I've washed my hair, I've kind of straightened it because naturally it goes off in all directions, so it's not wonderfully curly, it's not perfectly straight, it's in that annoying middle area. So it's kind of straight and I've put a product in the end of it uh, for repair because it's a, it's a bit straw-like at the ends. But that will also give it a kind of stickier texture than just plain clean hair would have which will help the product stick when I eventually put it on and um, I also straightened it before putting on the um, the colour bugs because obviously if you put them in and then straighten after your straightener is going to be covered in colourful gunk so I think first of all I'm going to just opt for a pink dip dye sort of effect so taking the lid off and just rubbing on the ends like this See, it's pretty easy. Obviously, it looks really bright right now. I'm doing it quite haphazardly. There's not being very precise with it. Oh, before I forget, make sure you're not wearing your favourite top or anything. Ideally, you'd be dressed in the outfit you want to be wearing and just have a towel around your shoulders. So, there we go. I've got it just basically put on. So now you want to rub it in. So it gets into the cuticles and you can know it's kind of setting into your hair and sticking to the product that you've put on the ends. You'll see that it kind of gets a bit fainter as well in colour, it's not as saturated. So keep going, it takes a bit of, bit of work to do that. Anyway, I won't bore you with doing this until it's done, but you get the idea, so that's that, as you can see. This is what's happened. So go and wash your hands so you don't get it everywhere, particularly in a white bathroom. A quick wash and it's already off my hands, just soap and water, easy, took a few seconds. So that should tell you how easy it's going to be to wash out of your hair. So that's cool, but I want to try something else. So I thought I'll do add some more colours to it. So I've got a purple colour this time, so I'll probably put that on the ends. If you're wondering why I'm looking to the side of the camera, it's because I'm looking into the lens, using it as a mirror. I haven't got a lazy eye or anything. So. So yet again, I'm being pretty amateurish, I guess you'd say, with using this. So now you blend. So in the same way you kind of blend colours together when you're drawing a picture, you do that with this as well. Pretend they're almost like pastels or chalks. You see, already I've got a graduated dip dye effect going on there. Maybe if you want to go to the next level, you try another colour. Time to wash your hands again. Now another good thing about these colour bugs is they kind of add volume to your hair as well in the same way that dry shampoo and talcum powder does. I guess it's because of the kind of chalky texture of them. So you'll find your hair is a bit thicker or in my case right now, nice bit of static going on. We're getting there now. Pretty much done. I'm kind of happy with that effect. Obviously if you spent more time on it, it would be more precise or you could layer it and so it's a bit brighter, but for what I wanted, I think that's kind of okay. Finally, this lovely kind of really vibrant, almost neon peachy orange colour. 
So I will be putting it above the pink, I think, just to add like an even more vibrant highlight. This one's my favourite actually because it seems to give it an added punch. Time to blend again. Now, if they say to, if you're happy with the colour to seal it in, it's good to spray it with some sort of hairspray. I'm not too for this number, which adds some shine. So there you are, there's one look using the colour box. It only took me a number of minutes, so it's just so easy. There's no reason not to give it a go, even for scaredy cats like me. So good luck, let me know how you get on. Time to wash hands.